Hey, look at this. The book that inspired my whole life. Wanda, the preppy hippo. <laughs> the little engine that could. Is this my book, Al? No, it's not, and I can prove it. Look here. Yeah, property of the Oakwood Library. <laughs> uh, gee, Al, it's a little overdue. 1957 is past, isn't it? Can you believe that, Kill? Dad was alive in 1957. I didn't even think it was a real year. Wow, what memories this brings back. Meh. Yeah. <laughs> can't throw this away. Well, Steve, it's a book. He certainly can't read it. Al, this is literature. Don't you understand? You have to bring this book back. Libraries all over the country are suffering from a shortage of books. And a book is fuel for a hungry mind. Ah, uh, books are for idiots. I mean, <laughs> you can learn everything you need from a movie or a date. <laughs> well, the world needs bimbos, too. <laughs> Al, just take the book back. I I've got bad memories of that library. Oh, honey, is that because all the other kids were reading? <laughs> no. It's because of the librarian, Misty Groot. God, she was fat and old and fat. I remember she had this cup of coffee on her desk, and she'd always be spooning mounds of sugar into it from a jar. And she'd stir it, it would make these clanking sounds like chains on a ghost. Fat ghost. God, she hated me. Bundy, the devil boy. You'd like to check these out, would you? Well, I'm afraid you can't. Do you know why? Because I didn't bring you french fries like the other boys do. You're a bad seed, Bundy. You can't have these books because you are consistently overdue. You never have the money to pay. And looking at you now, I doubt you ever will. I'll bring them back, I promise. You always promise, but you don't follow through. And that, in a nutshell, is your problem. Make a promise, keep a promise. Yeah, yeah, bake a pie, eat a pie. <laughs> Can I have the books now? I've got a book report due tomorrow. You may take just one book. Hey, be fair. Can you eat just one pig? <laughs> A little boy. You'll never amount to a hill of beans. And I wish that on you, Bundy, to be the failure you deserve. And take that hand out of your pants. It's a filthy little habit. Now, I'm going to let you have the little engine that could on the basis that you might learn something. Though we both know you won't. Do you think anyone can teach you anything? Well, you've just taught me that even the slightest movement can make a fat person sweat. Three days. You have three days to bring this back. Promise you'll bring it back on time. I promise. Oh, uh, that means almost nothing. But if you don't, remember, I'll be waiting for you. Boy, she hates you, Al. I swear, one day I'm gonna take that bowl of sugar and pour the whole thing down our gas tank. <laughs> My life's gotta get better than this. That's when I first learned that redheads can kill you. 